Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm under Lucia in Spain. It's warm, the soil is wet, things are growing, so beautiful. I have learned something special that these living leaky weirs made out of grass those bigger grasses I find over there, those tufts of grass. I took one of them, subdivided, and put it in here. It's now in here for 10 days. And then the water came from this side. And uh, the driftwood and the debris got stuck. And the plants neatly did eat job keeping the uh, earth and uh, organic material from moving excellent so i made a small trench and then i put these plants in i put the plants against the smooth side of the fence a uh, trench and then i step on it it was the loose soil so when i did it the other way around it was a disaster so this one did a sterling job of being a living leaky weir here I have done exactly the same thing so this was done a few days ago I opened a small trench put the grasses against the flat side the lower side fill it with soil, soil and then stamp on it and uh, it's all intact and then where is the next one ah here I did it the other way around I put the grass this way so the water came and it removed several of them and this one is already out so a big lesson for me is um, get these grasses to be supported on the solid part of the soil the loose part towards the water coming and then we have a chance, a sporting chance for this living leaky weir to grow and not to be washed away. Great! The dogs had their first private session with me where they have to sit still for an extensive period of time until all the ticks have been removed the first time of the year is usually painful because they cannot sit still but eventually they get used to it so uh, 31 ticks from the four of them and then I took the scissors and I started cleaning up mucks I apologize guy I don't know how to do it, but uh, you just have to live with me and the scissors. This is one of about six bamboos we have on the farm. This is the far west. This one did not walk that much. It's not... Uh, not much bigger than it was. I cannot even harvest some of these shoots to be tutors for other plants. Walking here along the western fence. This is the break between the flat area on top and then the sloped area 
running down to the lowest part of the farm. Such a beautiful area with boulders and uh, I've threatened many times to make some seating but uh, we'll get there here is a trunk ready to be used I'll get there this is a part of the fence line that gets or part of the land that gets full western sun and uh, it has lots of these guys so uh, I just leave them because this is harsh conditions they have to survive it's another type thistle these lilies are now coming out so beautiful this is the southern border and uh, because of this lush grass one can see a type of footpath that the night animals make when they come and visit and uh, especially the thoro the fox grey fox also mongoose and then they carry on this way this is another example footpath this way I come in here and then up there so it is a regular visitor he drives the dogs mad at night I even got a fox a few meters from the house because I left a bag of dog food outside and it was trying to open it. It didn't even run off when I approached it. This part of the night and the morning patrol where we walk all along the fence line and see what happened last night these lupin they came up by themselves last year was just three of them and now we have many of them and uh, so far the dogs and I are careful so they are mostly upright and it's great they can multiply as much as they want um, this is one of the highways set aside by Franco between uh, Seville and Portugal but uh, it didn't take off so a lot of runoff of water coming this way and then that way and then into the swale I already have a lot of water for the swale it would have been nice if it was in another place but uh, maybe I can take it further to the left hand side and see where I can dump it into I'm slowly winning on uh, these berms of the swales uh, to remove all weeds plants that in a place where we don't want them right now and then plant potatoes and things like that and uh, then mulch it heavily this is a mulberry and this is 
a mert, a mulberry, and then there's a um, goji berry, and then one of these drooping mulberries, another mert, and uh, carries on. It's actually very rewarding. Feels good to do this. Uh, especially for me to see what I have in the soil because I actually have lost track. And because of all the things we've planted, I don't know what is growing and what not. So give me some idea. Beautiful day. Till next time. Goodbye.